Hi friends, it's math time today. Let's blast off into math time. Get your rocket ships on. Aim into the sky. Get your tippy toes. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off into math time. Today is math time. Let's count from from 10 to 50 by tens, okay? So you're gonna say 10, clap, 20, 30, 40, 50. And we can go on, but right now we're only gonna count to 50. Let's try again. Say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, let's, Everybody, let's uh, come with Ms. Vay. We are gonna review some shapes this week. Four side the same, it's a square. How about this shape? Which, oh, that's a new shape that I'm gonna introduce to you. Do you know what shape that is? That is a diamond. And this shape is a rectangle, has four sides, um, but two sides are long and two sides are short. Who knows what that shape shape is? Yes, that's a heart. How about this shape? This is a circle and it goes round and round. It has no uh, corners and has no sides. That's a circle. And this is a triangle. It has three sides, like a like a tripod, like a triangle. It has one, two, three corners, three sides. Okay. So here are some new shapes that I would like to introduce to you and you probably are very familiar with it but I call this the you call it a diamond or a rhombus can you say that diamond or a rhombus and a diamond has <clears throat> two four sides that are the same but two very pointy corners here okay the other corners are a lot more flatter than the square and it's always up See that, so they have two pointy corners, one on the top and one on the bottom. Okay, so that is a diamond, and this is a it goes this way, it curves out, curves out this way too. So it has two curvy lines, one goes this way, and one goes the opposite way, and they meet at the top and at the bottom. That's a heart, and here's a new one that we don't have in our. A uh, uh, shape collection. It has it has a line that goes out like a backward C, and it has another line just like that in the middle and in, inside of it. Looks kind of like a banana backwards, but it's a crescent, or some people call it a moon. So that those are the new shapes. Okay, let's put the shapes all back there, and I'm gonna draw a crescent because I don't have a crescent here. Okay, so I'm going to add the crescent here. Okay, and then draw another one. There you go, that's a crescent. Okay, guess which shape I'm talking about. Which shape has three sides? Yes, a triangle. Which shape has no sides and no corners? A circle, yes. If you said circle, you're right. What shape has four sides the same? Four corners. What shape is that? If you said a square, you are right. Now, what shape? And draw on your paper. What shape has two sides that are opposite? It has curvy lines that are opposite of each other. And they meet at the top and they meet at the bottom. What shape is that? Can you draw on your paper? And then, can you draw on this other shape? Can you draw me a shape that has four sides, but it's got a pointy top corner and a pointy bottom corner? Guess which one is that? And then, I'm thinking about this other shape. It has two curves that are going in the same direction, and it's attached at the top and at the bottom. And then the other shape that I want you to draw is, draw me a shape that I'm describing right now, 
that has two curvy lines that are going the opposite direction and they are hooked together on the top and the bottom. Show me your drawing on Learning Ginny. Bye.